Segal Europe Focus Channel. My name's Hamish Walker. And I'm Sophia. Welcome to this world of turning. Um, <laughs> Kitagawa has been very busy. Yes, Kitagawa Japan do like to keep us on our toes with releasing new products. Sophia, you remember the BR series? I remember. The BR series is the revolutionary, high accuracy, next generation power chuck. So what I wanted to show you today is some of the latest products Kitagawa Japan have released with their dedicated team of engineers over the past several months. Do you know what, Hamish? It's beginning to feel like a few too many months with all this turning, so maybe we can get on with it. Patience, Sophia. Um, in the previous video, we established that the BR series uh, next generation three jaw wedge style chuck uh, offers a 10 micron repeatability mm -hmm. and has a new facelift. Ah, yes, the good looking chuck. Yeah, that's the one. Um, Kitagawa have now added a new range to their series. We now offer the uh, next generation two jaw wedge style power chuck called the BRT series. And let me guess, offering a 10 micron repeatability when using Kitagawa standard soft jaws, a large through hole, and optional extra T nut plus. And as it's a two jaw chuck, you can clamp irregular work pieces much easier, uh, quicker, and much more accurately than a standard four-jaw chuck. So when will the BRT series be available? So we'll have the 6, 8, and the 10-inch versions available in April, uh, with the 12-inch to follow shortly after. OK, great. So customers can start placing their orders for the BRT series as soon as possible. They certainly can. Now next up is the DLR series, and these are dual lock chucks, so they work in a completely different way to the BRT series. So how did the dual lock chuck series work? Well, putting it very simply, the chuck has a pullback action. Uh, the workpieces grip both radially and axially, um, creating an incredibly stable gripping platform. OK, and what sort of workpieces would you use with this chuck? Well, the DLR chuck is ideal for manufacturing of thin-walled workpieces due to the dual action gripping. You can use very low clamping pressure. So DLR chucks seem to be for specialist work holding. For particular work pieces? Yes, it can be used for work pieces that standard chucks cannot grip correctly. But the great thing about the DLR series is that using a simple locator or backstop, it can also be used for standard applications. In addition to this, the pullback action of the chuck can be adjusted, resulting in a very well balanced chucking system, which is capable of holding a number of different work pieces. OK, so there seems to be more to the DLR series that we'll have to showcase at a later date. Um, so these are the two new products from Kitagawa. It's three, actually. Um, I'm pretty sure I can count, but can we please stop this turning? <laughs> well, Sophia, I'm pleased to say that we've been able to turn you so seamlessly today because of the third product released by Kitagawa Japan, mm. the MK350, <gasps> which is the latest in the MK series. To say bigger brother is an understatement. <laughs> this thing is an absolute monster. Is this what's been making me dizzy? <laughs> yep, and it's got some incredible specifications to boot. Come on, give me the lowdown. What's so special about it? Well, firstly, it's able to rotate a workpiece of up to 500 kilograms in weight, so you are an absolute cinch <laughs> to rotate. Uh, secondly, the MK350 has a static clamping torque of up to 6,000 newton meters. Now, this is double of any of its predecessor models. Wow, that is incredible. So. Compared to the other um, rotary tables on the market right now, is this a standout piece of kit? Yes, uh, completely unique. And it's got a massive through hole as well. Yes, the 160 millimeter through hole can accommodate uh, long and large shaft work pieces, or a 16 port rotary joint is also available as an optional extra. Those are some excellent design features, but it looks like it weighs a ton. Well, not really, only 200 kilograms in fact. And I th think you'll agree for the size and capabilities, it's relatively lightweight. I'm looking forward to seeing it in action. So when does it hit the shelves? So this should be on Kitagawa Europe shelves in the summer. And with its impressive list of capabilities, it really will be stronger. <laughs> oh, Hamish, let's leave it there. <laughs> and some very exciting products to look out for. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to tune in to the Kitagawa Europe Focus channel. And we'll see you next time.